Hi guys, so in today's video I want to talk about things that my cerebral palsy, that my disability let me do or get away with when I was a younger or a kid. So the first thing I put on this list, and it may seem really silly, but is I basically lived off cowpole. And for those who don't know what cowpole is, well, cowpole is a brand name for um, a paracetamol. And basically what cowpole was, was a syrup type medicine, but it was strawberry flavoured. And it tastes really nice. And I sort of lived off cowpole until I was about 16 years old. I don't even think it helped with the pain at that point. But... I think it had more of a placebo effect, but it did taste nice and it just gave you a nice happy feeling after taking it. And um, there's been news articles more recently about how parents are addicted to giving their kid cowpole because it seems to um, help with all sorts of childhood ailments, but also seems to make kids quite drowsy. And now that I think about it, it probably explains a lot. But, um, yeah, I used to love cowpole, wish it had the pain-killing effects. If it did, I'd still take it now, but it doesn't. The next thing I'd add to that list is that my when I was younger, having cerebral palsy, let me get away with having naps during the middle of the day. Because with cerebral palsy, you use, it, you use five to ten times more energy than a normal person doing um, daily um, tasks, daily living. You get really tired really easily and I'm not just talking about tiredness, I'm talking about physical exhaustion, chronic fatigue. And basically what that meant is that, especially in primary school, I had like a dedicated bean bag in the library area and if I was feeling a little bit tired or even really tired I was allowed just to go away from class in school and say I'm just going to go have a little nap in the library and basically that meant I could have a half an hour sleep on a beanbag in the library while everyone else was in lessons and doing stuff it's great you can't really get away with that as you get older it was really a thing I could do as a kid and to be fair taking naps now if I wake up from a nap I'm always more tired than I was to start with, so I tend to carry on through that level of exhaustion and then just completely collapse, collapse when it's time to stop. Uh, probably the next thing would be um, being able to sit on a bench or a chair in assembly. Now this relates to middle slash primary school where we had sort of the overall status that if you were in the top year um, you would only be allowed, you, then you would have the privilege to be able to sit on the bench at the back of the hall with the so-called cool kids. But because of my cerebral palsy I found it really hard to sit cross-legged or even support myself cross-legged and even um, sitting on the floor on my side, which I do sometimes, was quite tiring especially because I had to hold myself up with my hands but so with my cerebral palsy I was allowed to sit on the bench with the older kids all the way through um school um once I got to high school my bubble around that was burst a little bit because kids are cruel and I could hear people as they walked past oh um when their friends were on crutches oh you're sitting on the spaz fence yeah, well, you don't think we could hear you, we could, we're not idiots. Okay, and I guess the next thing I really liked that my cerebral palsy and my disability let me go, get away with when I was younger was the ability to skip rides, queues and queues to get on ride at theme, rides at theme parks. Basically, if you had a disability, you could go to the visitor centre and what they do is they give you a friend or and then one friend or one relative a little wristband. And what that let you do is instead of having to queue all the way around for a theme park ride, 
you could go to the exit door, show the staff member your wristband, and then they'd let you on the next ride so you wouldn't have to wait in the queue. What supposedly you were supposed to do is you were only meant to do it once an hour to give people who actually queued up a chance. But when it wasn't busy, um, you could do it multiple times in a row. And it also got me like quite a lot of everyone, if it was a school trip, wanted to be the person I chose to have the wristband so they could sit with me in the ride and get on the ride really quickly with me. And it's perks like those I see, I guess, positive about having a disability it's like ones i use now like if i'm going to certain places uh, if i want someone to go i can advertise i can get you probably in free as my carer because to be fair even though they are my friends i do need help i don't like walking on my own because i'm more than likely to fall over and i do need help with stairs so it's not like they were caring for me it just wasn't a traditional oh let's do everything for me and then i guess the last thing i want to say that it um let me get away with as, as a kid was um basically um because my different levels of pain and management i got out of cross country during school and most people think oh that's lucky and to be fair, it was. I didn't have to um, sort of run around in the cold, winter, rain. Oh, some people walked and ran around the block in groups and chatted with their friends. But what I did have to do was hand out the numbers at the end. So to be fair, I did have to stand outside in the cold. But sure, it was a lot better than running. Yeah, so those are my top picks for the things that I loved as a kid that my disability let me get away with. They're not always things I can do as an adult now. Do you have any things that your disability let you get away with? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to see what positive spins other people make on their own disability. Thanks for watching. Bye.